This video will cover installing a bump steer kit on a third generation F body, but it also applies to really any car. Bump steer is the tendency for the tires to tow in or out on suspension travel. There are two types of bump steer kits, a stock version that uses a factory taper and a race version that uses a big 5 8 bolt. The race version is only necessary for things like autocross or big tire road racing. A buddy of mine who is a machinist started by milling the knuckle face flat and then using a series of drill bits and reamers to get to the final 5 8 of an inch hole. A drill press or a mill is recommended. To burr the top and bottom of the hole and test fit the 5 8 bolts. Jack up the car and remove the tire. Remove the sway bar links and then remove the stock outer tie rod. Assemble the bump steer kit. The goal is to get the kit parallel with the A-arm for a starting point. To use a bump steer gauge, we will have to remove the brake caliper. I uncompressed my front weight jacks so that the car's suspension could move freely. If you don't have weight jacks, you will have to remove the factory spring. You will only have to remove the spring if you're testing with a bump steer gauge. Use a jack to raise the suspension to ride height. Place the bump steer gauge on the plate and zero the dial indicator at ride height. And then record toe changes at half an inch increments all the way up to two inches of compression and bump. It looks like my tires are towing in and out quite a lot, over one eighth of an inch. By looking at the bump steer chart, I need to add shims to the kit. After re-shimming, retest the bump steer. My best result ended up with 15 thou toe out at 2 inches of compression and 16 thou toe out at 2 inches of rebound. At 1 inch of suspension travel, my car now has near zero bump steer. If you don't have a bump steer kit, an angle finder will also work. Matching the angle of the outer tie rod and the A-arm will get you 90% of the way there After setting up the bump steer kit, reinstall the brake caliper and the sway bar links. Reinstall the wheel and enjoy your corrected steering geometry. I can't express how nice my car drives now. By eliminating bump steer, 
My car is now super smooth over road imperfections, even at high speeds. I hope this video was informative. If you like this content, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram.